Hello friends! In this video I will show you how to simulate mouse and keyboard events. That is uh, left click, right click and key press like WASD etc. Cause you ain't no real game hacker if you haven't done this at some point in your career, right? The method is simple yet powerful, no injection or reversing needed. On the flip side, I have to mention that the method presented in this lesson might not work for your target, depending on the protection used. But even then, it's good to be aware of this method because it might work in combination with other techniques. Anyways, without further ado, let's start looking into the code. Like in the last lesson, we want some form of user interface, just something very basic. In fact, I'm going to reuse parts of the code presented in the last video. If anything is unclear, I recommend watching the last lesson. But I will summarize real quick right now. Create a new Windows console application. In our main, we just define an infinite loop. If we press a certain key, we get into an if statement. If we press zero on the numpad, pad, we get out of the loop and the program ends. And if we press one, we will get the mouse position. The sleep 1000 statement is just here to prevent the if body from executing too many times because we pressed the button too long. Now let's add the function of left click at a certain position if we press numpad2. In some older tutorials you may read about the function mouse event. Do not use that one as it has been superseded. Use send input instead. Send input takes three parameters. First is basically the amount of inputs, which in our case will always be one. Second is the input itself, or rather a pointer to the input. It can also be an array of inputs, but let's not worry about that. Third is the size of the input. So we are just initializing uh, input variable, then we're giving it the type uh, input mouse, then we're setting the flag of the mouse event left down, which is pressing the mouse button down, and then we're sending that input with the parameters. Afterwards, we zero the memory, which basically just means setting all the values at the input address to zero, just to prevent us from getting some unwanted results. Then afterwards, we are again setting the type to input mouse, and we're setting the flag to left up, which is releasing the left mouse button, and then we are sending that input. And that's already it. We can open up paint to test if it works out. So I'm just spamming numpad2 a couple of times and as you can see uh, the result gives us some dots around the paint window. Easy enough. So let's get to the other part of simulating keyboard input. We are again using the same function of send input with of course the same uh, parameters. First is always one because we're only sending one input. Second is the pointer to the input again. And the third is again the size of the input. The only difference is this time the type of the input is uh, input keyboard. And we are setting the value pretty much to the value of A in this example. You can also use any other keys or even multiple keys. Again, we are sending the input of pressing A and afterwards we are sending the input of pretty much releasing that key. So let's fire up notepad and see if it works. And yeah, simple enough, pressing numpad 3 a couple of times will result in A being spammed a couple of times, as well as 3 of course due to this being the key required to initialize this function. Right, so in summary, pretty much all you need to know is the send input function. Maybe read up on the function a bit. There's a couple of other things you can do, like as I said, sending multiple inputs as an array and then they are pretty much executed in sequence. I hope you had a pleasant watching and or listening experience. Please do give me some feedback, it really does help out big time. Consider subscribing if you would like to see more and I will talk to you really soon.